like to call the representatives of Barry Shakespeare tonight to the stage, his wife Rita, son Garrett, and daughter Adrian. Just a few quotations to start. A champion, but always gracious. A leader by example. A tough competitor, but extremely fair. A friend you could count on. A gentle man. Those were words used to describe Barry Shakespeare, a tennis player, a basketball player, a businessman, and true friend to so many whose hearts were broken when he was taken by cancer earlier this year at the too young age of 55. Pierre Lamarche, by the way, a tennis competitor of Barry's, used those words to describe the Halifax-born Canadian junior champion. A modest champion, he did not boast of his accomplishments, and here they are, five-time Nova Scotia junior tennis champion, eight times Nova Scotia Open tennis champion, a member of Canada's Junior Davis Cup team in 1963, a Canada Summer Games medalist in 1969 held in his hometown before the home crowd, and a championship his coach, teacher, and mentor Bob Douglas holds dear, the Canadian juvenile basketball title won in 1964 with Queen Elizabeth High School, and Bob Douglas sat down to talk about one of his all-time favorite student athletes. He was a great natural athlete. He did everything he did, he made it look simple. He never looked like he exerted himself. And he was taller, and, he, and, and people, you know, when you see kids in grade 10, 11, they're at some period in that time, they're gangly and uncoordinated. Barry Shakespeare was always very graceful. So a great basketball player, but it is primarily for tennis that Barry Shakespeare is being inducted tonight. From 1959 to 1965, Barry won three Canadian junior singles titles, one national open doubles championship, was a national finalist on two occasions, and won two singles titles at the Ontario Junior Championships. Between 1962 and 1965, Barry qualified for four consecutive Canadian international teams and competed in Florida against players and teams from around the world in events considered to be the World Junior Championships. Playing partner and foe for many years, Bob Pierce recalls his friend. Well, Barry was always two or three years ahead of his age classification in junior tennis. Um, we, the two of us won the National Open doubles when Barry was only 15 years old, and that was under 18. So he was playing three years above his age group and winning you know, a National Open doubles title. And that's the way Barry was all the way through junior tennis. Like, there was never a question as to whether or not Barry was going to win his own age category. It was just a question of, well, maybe he'll win the category above that. So that's how good he, Barry was. He had been ranked first or second in his age division under 16 and under 18. The most prestigious events were the Orange Bowl and Sunshine Cup, individual and team events respectively, held each winter in Miami, Florida. Players and teams from almost every country in the world competed at the tournaments, which were considered to be the World Junior Championships. In 1962, he was a semi-finalist in the under-16 category, making him one of the top four players in the tournament and among the world's elite. He always said one of his greatest tennis achievements was teaming up with Bobby Piers when they won the 1962 Canadian Open Junior Doubles Championship they captured the title, defeating an American duo ranked number two in the world. And Barry was 15 at the time. Bob Pierce again looks back at a favorite Barry Shakespeare moment. We were playing down at Lake Placid. We were both members of the Canadian junior team and playing in Lake Placid, New York, against the U.S. team. And uh, the team we were playing against were the under-16 Orange Bowl champs and a uh, very good team. And when we started off the match, these guys were sort of joking around and looking and laughing and, oh, a couple of guys from Nova Scotia, whatever. And I went back to Barry and I said, Barry, uh, let's turn it on here, okay? Which Barry could do. He could always put it to another level if he had to. And I said, uh, how about whacking a couple of serves here? And he was serving the first game. So he wound up and he hit the first serve. And the guy, all there was was a little piece of dust. The guy didn't even move. I mean, that was an ace, 15 love. And he walked over. He aced the second guy came back and aced the first guy again. And then on the fourth point, he hit a real tough serve, and I went across and just about ripped the guy's head off with a volley. And all of a sudden, the boy stopped smiling, and they realized they were in for a game.
After high school, Barry was selected to play for the national tennis team based at the University of British Columbia, representing Canada in many international competitions. He returned to Nova Scotia to attend Dalhousie University and won two Nova Scotia singles titles and a pair of doubles championships with partner Bobby Pierce. Barry moved to British Columbia, married, raised his family, and worked in the insurance business as a negotiator of indemnity insurance and in risk management. A longtime colleague, Gordon Wainwright, wrote on behalf of the British Columbia Risk and Insurance Management Society, this is a quote, the honor of having Barry inducted into the Sport Hall of Fame is befitting this wonderful kind person. We are most grateful for the energy, drive, sharing, and the role model he was to many of us. Before we present the induction plaque and pin to his family, a Barry Shakespeare story that will show his athleticism, his determination, and the love for him, Barry's boss for a number of years, Randy Price, called to tell us that Barry took up golf rather late in life. Randy had played the game for 45 years and was amazed to see Barry break 100 in his first year and be below 90 by year two. He says he had that knack to pick up a new sport and master it. He was frugal too. He had clubs that were too short for his big body and clubs that, shall we say, were not up to date. But, said Randy, Barry had that innate athletic ability, that hand-eye coordination that he used so well in tennis that enabled him to play golf at a fine level. A star on the tennis court and in the boardroom, a could-have-been golfer, a champion in sports and in life, Barry Shakespeare, now a member of the Nova Scotia Sport Hall of Fame. I'd like to call the presenters to the stage to present the plaque. Doug Bloom, the president of Maritime and Northeast Pipeline, a division of Duke Energy, and to present the Hall of Fame pin, a longtime friend and opponent and playing partner and a member of the Nova Scotia Sport Hall of Fame, Bob Pierce. Rita, Garrett, and Adrian, welcome and congratulations. Can you tell me what, what this means to the family tonight? Oh, we're very proud. Garrett, you were a, actually you are a heck of a young athlete yourself. Can you tell me how proud you are of your dad this evening? Uh, it's great to see all the stuff that he did. He never really talked about it, but then when I read about all the stuff he did, I was amazed. I always knew he was good, but I didn't know he was that good. <laughs> And Adrian, how does it make you feel to hear all this great stuff about your dad this evening? Well, he didn't talk about it much, like Garrett said, because he didn't boast or anything. But he was really nice about it. And when he won an award, he was happy, but he wasn't about to rub it in or anything. So really proud. <laughs> Let me just ask you, I, I know you both are following his, in his athletic footsteps. What sports do you play? I play soccer, and sometimes in the summer, summer we like to go out and play tennis, too. Okay. And what about you, Garrett? Uh, water polo, basketball, baseball, hockey, tennis. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Rita, just before you go, um, wh what do you think this would mean to Barry, this induction here tonight? Oh, um, he just would have been thrilled. He would have taken it um, lightly, like you know, humble as he was, and uh, would have been very proud and honored. Right. And I think he would have uh, recalled a lot of moments when his father and mother took him out to tennis and all the tournaments that they drove him around to in those days, especially in Ottawa and Lake Placid. Yeah, tennis was huge in that family, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was very huge. Absolutely. How wonderful is it to have these three here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to all of you, and thank you so much. Thank you.